Wilder entering the Babes and Brawl Steel for this 135 pound title fight. Fighting out of the blue corner. The what corner? He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. He weighs 135 pounds from Chicago, Illinois. Fighting for Glenn Hudson's team, Bloodline. This is Sean, Beast of War, G. You boys letting chappers go. Swear to God, I'm killing this. Somebody plan a funeral. Entering the Babes and Raw Steel for this 135 pound title fight. Fighting out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall. He weighs 135 pounds. From Gary, Indiana. This fight right here. This wait, 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 is Justin. That is going to make this night turn all the way around for you. I'll tell you what. Sean G hits hard. Sean G's a Golden Glove boxer. And Sean G is sitting in the cage right now. He's held a couple belts in other organizations. He's also He's a Golden always Glove a top boxer. Contender when they talk about the top five 135 pounders. Yes, most definitely, especially in this uh, in the Midwest. And, uh, fighting for cutthroat, you know, we bring fighters from everywhere. So as far as the cutthroat label, yeah. Okay, Jay, Jay, let me stop you a second. Look at him. How the hell does he make 135? That's that boxer body, man. Like I said, he's Golden Glove boxer. He's been punching since he was a kid, and that, that's what you see there. That's all pure muscle memory, boxing power. That's what now, that kid is. Now, Justin Plouffe is no walkthrough. Justin Plouffe has beat Gerald Williams. He's a pro fighter now. He's also went to, I believe, a decision with Chuck Olina. Chuck Olina is a beast. Didn't Gerald Williams beat Chief? In the beginning of the 35 pound tournament before he went pro? Yeah. I wish. You, you wanna, you wanna, I wish. I'll be honest, I accredit that to wrestling. A lot of people don't know. Uh, Ploof trains with Chuck Olina or used to train with Chuck Olina and Chuck Olina beat G pretty decisively off just wrestling. So well, Chuck, I'm, Chuck, I'm, yeah, I'm Chuck Olina of, actually fought Justin Ploof. Yeah. And uh, what from the, I believe it was the early cut supremacy was. fight. Was. Yeah, sure. That, you know what? I had I had guys confused here. No, that's Luke okay. Comes in. Justin Ploof has had a lot of top notch fights, I think, in my opinion. You know, he was one of them guys in the old old days, he got kinda thrown to the Lions early and uh it's one of them fight or flight and he fought. And, uh, you, you know now, what? These guys look professional. They look amateur to me. I think they're about ready to get professional. They you do know what? I mean, uh, John, G, John G is great on his feet. The only thing that's been questionable of him is possible his maybe jujitsu, and possibly getting off his back. Right. He, right we've seen him be controlled by dominant wrestlers, but his striking is amazing. Like mine. Exactly, Mr. Burlock. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, most... Most definitely in the past, G's had a problem with wrestlers. Again, he's a boxer. Most boxers he's better, though. aren't. I'm not, uh, it happens, man. You become an MMA fighter. What up, a, though? Oh. <laughs> you're the, there's Mr. Steve Cologne, the that. mastermind right there. He's uh, made oh. probably oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. nine oh, different no, but look, uh, he gave MMA up champs. And now he's in side control. He's not going to finish it from here. He's working to get him back in his guard, though. To, uh, he is, they, but uh, I see him in this position. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Oh, he's, he's to got train up modern. Now he's got full mouth. And G's so powerful. Here comes the part where G wants to be at. This is uh, his bread and butter, standing. Absolutely. Not so much in the clinch, but as far as the boxing world goes, Sean G's a very, very dangerous striker. He's a beast. Hence his name, the Beast of War. I, I think they call him the Beast of War for a reason. Here we go. Oh, no. And he's got some amazing slams, too. The poop just look at his right hand. I mean, did he possibly damage that hand? 
smiling. He's smiling at him. He's that well, let's be kick. honest. Sean G has never been known for his leg kicks. No, again, you see, look at him. He's got the boxer build. Well, you tree know what trunk, he's covering up? I mean, tree Sean trunk G might want to look low. And twigs for legs, but again, he's powerful. Look man. at Sean. I think Sean's happy with a little disrespect there. And it no. was a little bit. No. And again, you see him pulling on the kicks. It's something he's not used to. He just needs to get in there and throw hands. I'm sorry, but that was a stupid move by Sean G. He does not want to be taking ground, and that was a – I'm sorry, it was a taking, silly move. Taking a page out of Chael Sonnen's book. Or Mike Reed's. <laughs> well, no, Mike no, Reed no, lands Mike that Reed chin finishes. Mike Reed would have landed it, ended the fight right there. No. Yeah, I didn't mean Homer. to insinuate, no. Mike's, Mike's shit lands and solid and hurts people. He's going for this guillotine here, and um, I've seen him in the past, and I, I know his jiu-jitsu instructors and things of that nature I, 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 in this area where it's pretty small, we all train against each other or train with each other, cross train in some way. Shape from here, but he kind of looks tight. They're he tough. Looks, it does, but he doesn't have yeah, enough time. Yeah, Sean's yeah, not going to tap out from yeah. this. No, Sean's definitely a game fighter. And going you know, to get I'm, the takedown before. I'm very, before. very impressed by these guys. I mean, like, uh, if I didn't know this was an amateur fight, I think I was wrong. To be honest. I, like, I, I like how you said that. Uh, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they told me that... Uh, High level amateurs, a low level pro, and uh, it, it's pretty true. You know, some of these guys are on the verge of going pro, and uh, this is just going to be a feather in their cap as they make pro. That's uh, pretty much how I feel about Metro too. You know, one of the top organizations in the area, and being a champion here, we're, it's definitely known that Cutthroat does put out the best fighters with the best fights. So. And I think that's why Sang is partnered with Cutthroat. That's to put on a great event coming up, is it? December 15th, right? Well, I'm looking forward, forward, forward to fighting for Flawless in the future. Just High throwing five. it out there. Now, where, where's the fight going to be at, Sam? The UIC Forum. Go to www.flawlessfc.com for, for any more information. You can always Facebook us as well. Um, go to more MMA. Well, thank you, because I don't like to plug myself. So yeah, I'm glad to plug you there. I will definitely be the USC is going to be packed. It's going to be awesome. Yes, it is definitely, definitely one. Cut one now to putting show. on the amateur card. It's going to be. Free. It's going to be a beautiful partnership. Here we go, guys. Here we Here we go. go round two. I like to talk about it, but we all know what was what needs to happen. Sean G doesn't want to be taken down, and Justin Ploof wants to get it to the ground. I there still, now there's those hands. I still can't get over that DC's 135 pounds. It's crazy. And he dumps oh. it. I'll tell you what, Sean G does not get dropped like that. He's pissed. Oh, yeah, yeah he's mad. <laughs> you see the look on his face when he stood up? He, he was not a happy like man. That. And again, it wasn't a, oh my God, you hurt me slam, but it was, no, it, was, it, was it was you son yeah. of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you would have the audacity. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? G's honestly learned a lot of good control here. Oh, oh. Cup shot, cup oh, shot. Unintentional. Okay, so for all the fans that don't know, <laughs> G don't in look amateur like MMA, you're not allowed to knee to the head regardless of whether it's standing or on the ground, correct? In the state of Illinois, correct. Okay. Hey, I think it was unintentional. I don't think he, I don't think he meant that. But, I mean, look at Sean G. He just looks angry. He looks like a very angry young man. Well, you know what? He's, he's I mean, corner. Sean is usually, usually dominating people. And he's yeah. powerful. He's got great striking. And when he got taken down and lifted kind of over Justin's head, I think that kind of woke him up and kind of pissed him off. Oh, yeah, now he's mad. Yeah. And, uh, he really don't even look like he wants to touch gloves. He's really focused. Yeah. Why does he pull those kicks back? I have no idea. He's not comfortable kicking. I don't think he's really had too much uh, No, he's business. not, but now he's getting smart. Oh, look he's at him trying to go to the body, though, Jay. He's trying to pick him apart here. He sees that. Oh, hey. that's in the head. That was not intentional. Ploof laughing. Ploof's you know, a tough sorry, kid, man. Ploof is laughing, and he's, he's Ploof is he tough. thinks it's a great time, but you know what? He's losing this round. So you can laugh uh, all you want. I mean, yeah, did, you, did I you think, not agree? I think this warning right here is going to give him enough time to recover, and I think uh, it doesn't, knowing, knowing Ploof, he's going to try to go for a takedown. Okay. He, he, he gave G, G the uh, we'll notion see, but, that he don't know, really sweat the knee to the head. He's, he wants the bag. Like, no, but it was just like before. Look at it. He's taking shots. Maybe he's trying to let him punch himself out, but it's not a smart decision. He's going to lose the round if he maintains his style of fighting. G has got to do with movement, that, uh, man. He slipped that up. G is quick like as hell. Bro. Do you think uh, Sean G being a southpaw has put, um, put him up his game a bit? Or? You know, I think a little bit, but I don't think that much. I mean, I think he's still, I think Justin's still comfortable, but I don't think he's winning this round. No. 
Sean G looks very relaxed, looks very focused and angry. Oh, he didn't pull that leg kick back. See, and that's, what he, that's what he's going to watch out for. I'm sorry, but Sean should not be throwing leg kicks. Sean needs to keep the leg kicks to minimum and uh, lower his level when he's striking. You know, if he lowered his levels, he might Looks be able like to land the strikes a little show. bit better. Ploof <laughs> <laughs> giving some, uh, some, some trash, trash talk in the corner. I think he's uh, letting G know that uh, he's not uh, too worried about his striking, that this is where the fight's going to continue. Well, obviously, he's not worried about the striking. He's got him on his back. Is it on? I don't know. Am I on? Round three. Both smiling. Ready to get this thing started. Ooh. Nice right hook by G. Goes to the body. Hook. Hook to the body. Hook to the head. G going for the takedown there. He changed levels, but Proof was coming forward with that overhand. And the fist to the side of the head. That doesn't do much, but it's enough to annoy you and uh, yeah, yeah. make it, give, you give you either give you options. You know, he brings that arm up. You could go Kimura. You could go Guillotine. It gives you options. It opens your guy up. The crowd is definitely loving this fight so far. I think G needs to stand up and uh, get back to his feet. And Ploof needs to get this fight to where he's out in a more dominant position. Okay, we're straight into a guillotine. And a guillotine. Let's see how tight that guillotine is. The arm's in. It don't look too tight from G's face from here. He's not even trying to grab for controller. Yeah, but Sean G really has to. He can't, he can't underestimate that. He can't underestimate that because yeah, he needs to start going risk control here, and he's just not doing that. Okay. Honestly, I think G might be the Um, honestly, this is one of them nights you don't want to leave it to the judges. From what I've seen, so uh, I think uh, G needs to finish if he's gonna finish, or Plouffe needs to finish if he's gonna finish. Sean G really needs to posture up here. Here we go. Okay. What happened? It was an what illegal happened? up kick. Um, G was actually in the, uh, had in what they would call three point stance. He was a downed opponent. They just took G from off the top position. Yeah. I agree that you need to watch out. I think they should have stopped it, gave him a warning. Play. Yeah, they should have restarted. If you're going to restart, they're restarting in the same position. They're taking a point. They're Still restarting in the same position. Point. Because if I was on G, I'd be very, very upset, mate. Yeah, no, they the should reset position, but. Uh, um, being cocky, man. Some guys are that way. Me personally. Still looks very, very angry. Wow, I'm it's one round ahead. Angry. Maybe I had too much to drink. I thought we were already in round three. Right? Actually, this yeah, is round actually, three here. Yeah, I think I had too much to drink as well. We're both in round three as well. And we're wondering about the judges drinking too much. Yeah, there we go. I'm sorry, judges. <laughs> I'm not. That last decision <laughs> sucked. Yeah, yeah. True. I agree. There's more of G just picking his shots like he wants. See, made, this is what I was talking I about. I, I I agree. You know, he can't just. You know, get backed up into the corner and just cover his head. It, right, but but what he does, he's luring him in, and next thing you know, he starts to take him down. Yeah, so. but how effective is he? How effective is he? he wants to take him down. He hasn't been. Yeah, well, but the judges have obviously have been known to be somewhat altered. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thankfully this is actually not a being sanctioned by the Illinois Athletic Commission because uh, the stuff I really want to say about this commission, if it was Athletic Illinois Commission, they would never let me put another show on in <laughs> Illinois. But <laughs> that's the set, motherfuckers. Like, dude, good job commentating. You got, you're not drunk this time. <laughs>
Last time out. Now you had the white guy. That's George reminiscing about his last commentating yeah, experience. That was a little uh, <laughs> we chopped last time we did commentary. We're trying to be a little more professional. This time. Right now, Plupa is stuck in G's garden. He's attempting an Armin guillotine. As we know, the Armin, it's a lot harder to finish submissions, but uh, I've seen it done before. If the guy's strong enough, and G's pretty strong, so he might be able to finish. He's, he's abandoned now. He's strong, but in the third round, he might not be strong enough to pull it off in the third. He's going for an armbar arm again, I think. He's trying to make liars out of us. He's trying to push he, he, you to go for an armbar I'll be again. honest. I oh, love, my goodness. I love go. watching. If he wins oh, by an armbar, I'll be ecstatic. I, will. I would love to see okay, him evolve. Okay, okay now he let it go. This one, G, he's, he's going to take him down here. He's going to take mission attempts. Maybe I'm coming across a little bit biased here. But oh, that was a mistake. Doing a sloppy, job sloppy. Cliff made a mistake there, Jay. Sloppy. What did he do wrong? He went to transition, but he didn't have control of nothing. He just literally spun with no chest to his back. Oh, he's got an armbar. Oh, he's got an armbar. He's on. But again, G's really strong. As long as he stacks him, keeps yeah. that arm tucked, yeah, he needs to keep his arm out him. in time, I think he should be fine. He could even keep Cliff stacked in. Maybe I think stall the round. Try, don't, don't, stand, don't slam him. See, a lot of people I make a mistake agree. with that. You don't do that. See, you do I not don't do agree that. with that because uh, you, you slam me like that, I'm going to extend on the open yeah. part. If you're, you're going to slam elbow. somebody like that, you need to get him two feet higher. I think you should just keep yeah. stacking him. There's not much time left. See, now he's, he's sitting back. You need to. Okay, Jeez, he's, he's out. He's out. His thumb he's wasn't up. Here we go. That's another close fight, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for these two warriors. This is the fifth and final round. So as we talked earlier, Mr. Gonzalez was talking about how he didn't know it was a third round. Well, obviously, Jay didn't know there was a five-round fight. Okay, again, we have had too much to do. Jorge Gonzalez thought this was a three-round fight, not a five-round title fight. I apologize, but we are back for round I know, five. I kind of looked around, I'm like, where'd everybody go? Oh, <laughs> uh, he's considering saying left us, it's just me and you, Jay. Saying left us, where's the bartender? I'm sorry, those are inside thoughts. Who's Who's going going it's a five-round fight. Oh, really? <laughs> we, are, we are awesome commentators, we are, we are awesome. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> you know what's uh, saying that the uh, judges are drinking too much? It's Ed's fault. It's a bad influence. <laughs> come on, George, back me up here. It's a bad influence. It is all, it, every Ed. time I come to Atlantis and I'm yeah. next to Ed Walls, bad things happen. Ed Good. from more MMA, Good. remember that. Bad influence. Well, okay, naughty things happen. I think, I think I'm just thing. misunderstood, gentlemen. <laughs> right now, Blue playing in side control. He's not doing much or nothing. Uh, G's trying to hold on to a guillotine, using it maybe to stand up. <laughs> Little lay and pray going on by Ploof. I think G should uh, try to transition to a half guard at least because I mean, guillotine from this position ain't gonna do nothing. You know, he's gonna try to work off the cage a little bit. Maybe use his feet. You know, Ploof should be going north. He shouldn't be he shouldn't be going south. He should be moving his legs towards uh, towards G's head. You know? Now I'm sorry, but That's now hard. hasn't referee Lamoso set up people for less already tonight? Yeah, he has. He has. It's a little consistent. Oh, that was very athletic. Very there. athletic. That was a nice Look at that. Very athletic. He needs to unload here. Take that body. I, if I was him, I would just tear his body up because it seems he hit so hard. And, and you're he, right. He does. He needs to soften him up. It looks like he wants to go for another submission attempt. He's getting a little high. He's a little high. He's very no, high. No, oh, it's tight, though. It's that's tight. That's kind of tight. Nah, but he doesn't have it on. Let's know when he like. Here we go. Uh oh, oh, it's no, close. Proof has got his chin tucked in there. Proof is looking a little dazed. Oh no! Okay, this is. I, I think he's gonna finish it here, guys. No, no. He's, he's strong as hell. He could Luke, finish it. He could. Luke's well, chin's see. down. He's fighting hands. I don't think he's gonna yeah, finish he's it. He's making faces though. The guys he does. Oh, and it's oh, over! Oh, God. I, I told you guys. Nobody of me. ever listens to Sean me. Sean G becomes the new 135 pound champion. G wins by submission. I am shocked. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen him win by submission. <laughs> G just won by submission. Sean G by submission. We're naked. Bloop is still laughing. In the championship. Round. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you will agree. One more time. Nothing what happens, there 
there is not a loser in this case tonight. These guys put on a hell of a show. Put your hands together, guys. We do have a winner at two minutes and nine seconds in the fifth round. By way of tap out. Great fight, that was a great fight, guys. Yeah. Best fight of the you night. You guys. Why does Sean J still look angry? Because he didn't First finish off, my wait, knockout. Come here. Justin, come here. You guys, Sean, I know you were shaking your head. Yeah, by looking You're at him, kicking you this guy's ass around the cage. He's smiling. <laughs> and I see you shaking your head like, were you getting frustrated because you couldn't knock him out or tap him out as fast as you wanted. Yes, yes I was. <laughs> I trained hard, but I trained a little harder because I felt like I should have by knocking out something like that. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but Sean is actually chiseled out of pure stone. They came down from Mount Olympus and chiseled his body out, and you took an ask and smiled Every freaking round. Put your hands together for Justin Bluth. I've never seen anybody take an ass kicking and smile. And I was thinking the whole time, what is he smiling at? What were you smiling at? I've been talking about it since that guy was here and brought put on a show. Actually, I fought Jeff Dunbar with my last fight before I went to the military. Hey, speedy recovery for him, man. I love him. He's a good fighter. Um, I came back and Looking for a good fight. I was supposed to get a title shot before I left. Just had no choice. The military got the first. Um, yeah, he's a great fighter. So I was ridiculous. In the first round, I threw that cross and broke my hand. Right there, I was just now. It was time to smile and have fun, do what I can. This guy, that, that was amazing. You guys, I thought the last fight was the fight of the night. This has to take its place, Sean. This has been a long time coming for you. We have been watching you, we've been watching, we've been trying to get you a title fight, trying to get you a title fight. Finally happened, how does it feel to be the 135 pound cutthroat MMA champion? Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our 135 pound title holder, Sean! 